Hello everybody, Nelka here again and today we will discuss UGR. So this is another video tutorials of mine collections about the basics of lighting. This time we will discuss about UGR. So UGR or glare rating. UGR defines how much glare a luminaire produces and introduces to an environment. Glare or UGR is an important aspect when considering your luminaire. Glare affects us in many ways such as discomfort and potential side effects such as headaches, loss of productivity, and poor concentration in the workplace, and poor customer experience. Okay, so what does this glare means to our lives for example you are working in the office and um, one of the luminaires keeps on hitting your eye well that means that luminaire is very glary in your position uh, there are two types of glare one is the indirect and direct glare you need to consider that one in sports lighting as well as of course here in the office lighting you need to consider the glare I created one video tutorials on how to calculate glare in indoor. For outdoor, I think I created one, but it, that is for apron lighting. And you can check that one here below of this video. So let's note that if a luminaire does have high glare rating, it, this does not mean it should be disqualified from a project. The design of the overall solution, installation, and positioning of the luminaire can often negate the glare factor. Okay, so let's consider that your luminaire selection or the one that you selected for your project is really very glary. It has, uh, for example, a glare value of 25 or 26. You can still use it, but uh, you need to adjust the location, the tilting, and maybe the height of the luminaire. So you will get a good glare value. Okay, I have the, here at the, uh, in the table, the UGR13 is an excellent glare control fitting. So if your fitting has UGR13, that means it's not so glary. Most of the fittings like this is very diffuse and it's very well protected with in terms of the optics um, I never seen a fitting that has UGR 13 yet but maybe there is there okay UGR 16 yeah I, I have this one I know this one um, UGR 16 means uh, it has good glare control again maybe this one is direct and indirect fitting or again diffused one and later on, I will show you some luminaires which has this uh, value of glare rating. Okay. And then for UGR19, it is a moderate glare control. Very good for office. And most of the time, it's again direct, indirect, or diffused one. The problem with the diffused fitting is it will lessen the lumen output. So there are some fittings that you can achieve glare uh, UGR19 even if it's not diffused, it's just a matter of um, matter of technology. I will show you something like this later. And then UGR 20, 21, some of the offices right now still uh, accept UGR 21 for an office, even it, if it has a poor glare control. Yeah, because you can still use it because it will either um, mount it properly or um, tilt it properly you can still have it okay like what I mentioned a while ago we have two types of glare one is indirect and one is direct and you can see in the image here the red one is your direct glare it means the fitting is located here and it most of the time hit your eyes and the indirect glare is the reflectance of computer screens or any shiny objects or surfaces. So this one, the blue one, is your indirect 
glare. So it's not necessarily coming from the luminaire, but the, but the reflections from the other surfaces. Okay, so that is the indirect glare, the blue line, and that one is the direct glare, the red line. So now I will show you the types of fittings about this UGR rating. Okay, so let's go again in this, let's go again in the Zoom to Bell uh, website and let's check for an indoor office light fitting where we can have let's say UGR 19 for an office ideal for an office so let's go and check the indoor lighting and let's select a recess modular luminaire and then for example I will try this IQ wave and let's see how uh, the UGR value of this fitting so I will select one and then I will go to the, the, the specification and see how um, the UGR looks like. So you cannot see it here. Sometimes it's mentioned here, but it's not here. So to find out the UGR value of this fitting, we will need to go to the photometry. So just check that one. And you can see here, in the classification of the UGR transversal and UGR axial and you can see it's 19 value here so this IQ wave fitting is good for an office lighting so you can see it here the value for the UGR just look on the glare evaluate evaluation and you can find it here now Alright, so let's look for another one. Let's say we are using something like for a retail shop and see how the glare value of the spotlights or track lights. So I'll go to the spots and tracks. And then for example, I will use this tonic spot on tracks. And I will just select one, anything here. And then here I'll go down and check the glare value of this fitting and you can see here oh that is nice really okay so this one is for retail shop or any application for window uh, window displays or museums and it says here that is is that it is UGR 19 for, both for the transversal and axial Wow, very good. This is nice. Okay, so that is how the UGR means. Alright, so that's it for now. And if you have questions, just let me know. Just comment at the bottom and I hope I will answer you soon. So see you again on the next video tutorial about the basics of lighting. If you want to test yourself how good you are now in lighting design, check my Udemy course lighting designer exam here and see if you can answer all those questions 100 um, 125 questions about lighting designs the first 100 question is about the basics of lighting designs and the 20 is about the lighting design standards and techniques and the last five question is about the logic and ethical questions of a lighting designer so go now and check this one and see if you can answer all these questions. Alright, see you again on the next video.